Well, then how does it feel to, to have a game like that and to, and to have that game play such a specific role in the win as well? Yeah, it feels great. I mean, obviously I couldn't be able to do it without my teammates and without, you know, obviously rushing coverage goes together. So, you know, everybody's saying good pick, good pick. But the fact of the matter is, you know, our pass rushers are doing a great job um, throughout the duration of the game, making the quarterback uncomfortable and making them throw, uh, you know, bad throws. Can you break down both interceptions? What happened on this play? Um, yeah, just trying to read the quarterback's eyes, trying to be aggressive on the ball. Um, that's something that we've we've been kind of harping on, you know, trying to get takeaways and affect the ball and attack the ball. So it's kind of just what, you know, as a whole, what we're trying to do as a defense. What about on the punch out, Paulson? Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. On that first pick, at what point do you know you got a shot at it? Is it as he's starting the release? Like, like, what is your mindset on that play? Like, at what point do you see I got a shot to go get this one? Yeah, I think just being a trying to be a playmaker, reading the quarterback's eyes, um, seeing when his hand his hand comes off the ball, um, and just trying to make a play, trying to jump around. So, it's kind of reading the quarterback's eyes. Plus, what did you see on the punch out? I mean, it's something that we've been also harping on. Coach Da has harped on that, attacking the ball, um, top down punch out. So, just trying to see the ball and trying to punch at it to make sure it can come out. So, I'm glad that it was able to. Were there things you were doing? maybe to bait him a little bit or to disguise what you were doing a little bit that allowed you to make those two picks? I think it's just great play calls. You know, DA and uh, our DC, Joe Wood, uh, both of them just putting us in the position to make plays. Um, so depending on the down and distance, I feel like they had us in a good call uh, to be able to e execute our technique and make a play on the ball. This is a few weeks now where you've had strong games one after another. What do you kind of just make of building on one game after another? Yeah, just try to take every game, one game at a time. Next game is doesn't have anything to do with this game, so just being locked in every single play. Um, there's some things that you know I got to fix, and there's some things that we got to fix as a defense. But I think just moving forward, trying to be as focused as possible, and trying to let the good games carry over. Do you feel locked in in a way, like in a, in a little bit different way, the last few weeks? Like, like, have, do you feel like you've taken a step forward personally? Uh, I just try to do, you know, try to be locked in every single game. So if the results are good this week, you know, obviously. I got to go look at the film, you know what I mean? Sometimes it feels better than it is. Sometimes it feels worse than it is. But I'm um, just trying to have the same approach every single week and trying to put my best foot forward. What does this rank for you for your personal performances all time? Uh, probably probably one of the best. I mean, two picks and a forced fumble. Um, I think it's probably my best. Uh, but again, you know, there's some plays that I made mistakes on and, and whatnot that maybe hadn't been highlighted. So, you know, it's give and take. What did you make of the run back on the first pick? Uh, shoot, I'm just trying to find, <laughs> trying to find the end zone. <laughs> Didn't happen this time, but you know, just trying to be aggressive and, and trying to take it the other way. When you have a game like this, and you know, we all sit here, we ask you about the turnovers and the interceptions and things like that. How, how important is it for you to look at the moments in between those takeaways, as uh, in, in terms of looking for additional improvement or something? Yeah, I mean, every game is the same. We just look at what we did well, what we did, you know, bad. Um, there might be a game where I play phenomenal, but I don't have any interceptions. It might be a game where I play great or I play not so great, but have, you know, so it's just trying to be as objective as possible, trying to look at the film, see what I could have did better, see what I could have did, uh, what I did do well, and just kind of having that same mindset of, of correcting all the mistakes regardless of what it looks like uh, at the end of the game. It seemed like early on in the game, the Bears offense was able to produce pretty well in the middle of the field, and then they continued to be able to kind of attack the flats. From your perspective, kind of, was that an execution thing? Was that just play call versus play call? Do you have an idea of kind of how that happened, or is that more of a film? Yeah, I mean, they were they were calling some good plays, and they were, you know, whether it was us that we weren't focusing, or they were calling good plays. Uh, regardless, the fact of the matter is, they were they were making plays, and that was a big emphasis coming back to try to stop some of those plays. Were there things that you guys figured out and did differently in the second half? <laughs> I mean, throughout the duration of the game, we're always trying to make checks and adjustments. Um, kind of see what the team's game plan is as they come out. So throughout the game, we're, we're making different checks and making adjustments. So glad that it was able to carry over in the second half and we were able to finish the game on a strong note. Thank you, Paulson. Appreciate you.